Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is now finally starting to roll out the second wave of new features for Windows 11 version 22H2, also referred to as the Moment 2 update, which as I did expect, Microsoft made available on the 28th of February, which was late yesterday in my region. And the update is KB5022913, which is exactly the same update I did post on a week or two ago when it was still in preview. Now, the update uh, is the latest optional bug fix C release update. So it's an optional update. So you don't have to install the update. And if you don't decide to install the update now, um, the new features, improvements and fixes will be carried over into the second Tuesday of this month, March 2023, referred to as Patch Tuesday. Now, um, the update is a non-security bug fix update, which includes numerous and a whole bunch of new features referred to as the Moment 2 update. So just to dive straight in and to get through this as quickly as possible as to not uh, to try and make this video too long and drawn out. Now the first two new features um, are available through the Microsoft Store. So once you've updated to Moment 2, you will then get access uh, to the new Windows Notepad with tab support and the snipping tool which now has its own screen video screen recorder but you need to update first and then you can come update these apps and download them from the microsoft store now just to demonstrate quickly if we head over to the start head down to notepad and um, yeah we get the tab support and um, very similar to what you get in the file explorer and your conventional web browsers and you can now drag one of those tabs and you can now open that tab in its own new window so tab support now available in the notepad which i think is a nice move in the right direction and then just heading back to our start and this time just to show you regarding the snipping tool and if we open the legacy snipping tool we now have an option over and above the screen capture we now get the um the snip which is a screen snip video recording tool and if we just click on new and we just drag a section of the screen and we click on start three two one and now i'm recording my screen and when it comes to a video recording and you can see it's got the timer in the top and at the top and i can pause that i can continue recording and um i obviously can capture that recording and if i don't want it anymore i can just discard that and delete that recording so screen recording option now available in the snipping tool after updating the snipping tool from the microsoft store now those are the two microsoft store updates and now according to the official release notes for kb5022913 and um, the first new feature is this new search box the windows 10 style search box which now lets you actually type a search into the box and uh, if we just right click on our taskbar head over to taskbar settings we also now have some search box options and you can now hide the search box you can include the search icon only search icon and label like it was previously and you can have the search box which is now the default and i think that's a nice move having some options to customize that and over and above being the search box you also get the search highlights now to the right hand side very similar how it is over on windows 10 and uh, the next new feature according to microsoft uh, is if we just head over to quick settings you can now access windows studio effects directly from quick settings on the taskbar for devices that have a supported neural processing unit npu which makes it quick and easy to turn on and configure camera effects according to microsoft and over and above that if we head to the sound select a sound output uh, in the quick settings if you clicked on that previously as i have mentioned that would take you over into the settings to configure your sound now if you click on that that's available in the quick settings which for someone like me who's configuring sound settings all day i think that's a nice move in the right direction as i always say so um, windows studio effects and your sound effects now available in the actual quick settings menu now um the update makes it easier just to mention this quickly to get help if you are having pc issues and you can now find the quick assist app in the start menu in the all apps list and the quick assist app uh, basically just lets you help someone remotely with computer problems so that's now in the all apps list in the start menu and while we are in the start menu um just a quick um note here and microsoft hasn't mentioned this officially in the release notes the search 
uh, in the start menu now is fluent where previously this this was more a box square look now that's taken on a more fluent rounded corner look and feel so search now has rounded corners and uh, just to mention the next new feature the update introduces a touch optimized taskbar for two-in-one devices that can that you can use as a tablet and as mentioned previously, there are two states of this taskbar. You can collapse your taskbar and expand your taskbar if you are using a touchscreen device. And then um, just two quick mentions when it comes to an accessibility feature for Braille devices. Um, this update provides enhanced support for Braille devices, says Microsoft. They will continue working while you switch between Microsoft Narrator and third-party screen readers. And then... And it also adds support for new Braille displays and new Braille input and output languages in Narrator. So some Braille improvements rolling out in this latest update, 5022913. Now, if we just head over to the system page and we click on uh, the power and battery, there is now a new energy recommendations. Yeah, you can see, lower your carbon footprint by applying these recommendations. If you click on that, you now get a whole, lot of, a whole lot of different settings to try and um, basically um, minimize your carbon footprint by applying some um, energy recommendation settings uh, in the actual operating system now. And Microsoft says if you use them, you can help to improve the energy efficiency of your PC and reduce your carbon footprint according to Microsoft. And then just a quick mention, for devices that are joined to Azure Active Directory, AAD, Windows now provides AI-powered recommended content on your start menu, according to Microsoft. And on the start menu, you'll find content to help you to prepare for meetings, quickly access files you're collaborating on, and a whole lot more, according to Microsoft. Now, when it comes to the system tray icons, um, there are some updates, but not as, not as many as I did expect. And unfortunately, um, we are still not able to drag and drop these, the default system icons around in the system tray. But all icons now have a rounded focus and hover treatment in the lower right, including the show hidden icons fly out menu. So if we just click on that, a bit more of a rounded focus and a hover treatment. And you can also um, drag those into the actual system tray from the show hidden icons and vice versa. But as mentioned, that... Um, the ability to actually drag the default system tray icons not available yet and i did think that would roll out but not yet rolled out by microsoft and then just to head back to the accessibility uh, page and this time for voice access one or two improvements rolling out for voice access and um, apparently according to microsoft voice access is now more flexible and supports interaction with more user interface ui controls and voice now supports spin controls, thumb controls, and split buttons. And over and above that, the update also provides voice scrolling enhancements. You can use voice to scroll to the extreme left and right on a page. So a couple of voice um, access improvements rolling out in this latest update. Now moving on to the task manager. And this is one I'm, I'm quite excited about. The task manager, as you can see, finally has filtering and basically a search at the top of the task manager which has been a long time coming and with this filtering this search you can now filter processes using the binary name prd which is uh, process id or publisher name and the filter also applies when you switch between pages and over and above the search if we head to the settings you now have different um, and more theme options so you can set it to light dark and use system settings so that's a nice move and then when it comes to the efficiency mode uh, microsoft says you can now opt out of confirmation dialogues when you turn on efficiency mode so some improvements rolling out um, to the task manager and the big one task manager now has the task search which is a nice move and then over and above that and because this is a non-security update we also get um, a whole lot of bug fixes and uh, um, if we just head over to the release notes, because this video now is getting on when it comes to its time, I will leave um, all the uh, bug fixes in the release notes. I'll leave the release notes down below for quick access and reference if you would be interested, as there are numerous other um, fixes that have rolled out. But just to highlight one fix, which I think is important for the purpose of this video, because I have been posting on and it has been a known issue. And Microsoft says that this update addresses an issue that affects copying from a network to a local drive 
copying is slower than expected for some users and that's um, that issue that known issue where Microsoft said in some cases there was 40% lower file copying speeds and that was for a whole lot of users copying large files from a network down to a local drive so if you did experience that issue this issue is finally fixed now according to Microsoft with this latest update KB5022913 and if you do decide to install the update if we just head over to Winver about Windows uh, this will just give us the OS build now and um, for Windows 11 version 22H2 after this update has been applied the OS build now will be bumped up to 2261.1344 so that's it that's the moment to update now rolling out for Windows 11 22H2 KB5022913 so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one